speed of 65 kilometers per hour. A car moving at the speed of 65 kilometers per hour. 65 kilometers per hour. The car is moving at that speed. The car moving at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. Passes another car. A car. A car moving at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. Passes another car that was at rest. Another car was at rest. It was here. He passes it. Passes another. He was moving with this speed. Look at it moving. He passes another car that was at rest. And the car that was at rest immediately he kicks off and accelerates at a speed of one up to a speed of 190. So the car at rest moves, moves up to a speed of one of 90 degrees, 90 kilometers per hour. A speed of 90 kilometers per hour. It accelerates. It was the car was at rest here. The, when this one was passing, when this one was, I mean this one passes, the car took off, look at it, they took off at a speed, a speed of 90, according to the question. He took off at this, up this, and got up the speed of 90 kilometers per hour. In 30 seconds, in 30 seconds, that's, look at it, about, so now, you see, time has been given to us now, 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. He got, he got the speed of 90 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds. And continue at this speed. Till it overtook the first car. It continued at this speed. Look at it. It continued at this speed. Until it met and overtook the second car. The first car. It, so, and until it overtook. Because it must meet it before it overtook, takes it. And the, until it overtook the first car. What is the distance traveled by the second car? At the time of overtaking. So, at the time of overtaking, before they overtake, they must meet. So, they will meet. So somewhere here. The time we are looking for now is this time. I put as X from here to here. This time is what we are looking for, this X. So if you can get the time, if you see the question, the person said that a car moving at 65 kilometers per hour speed, it was moving. When he met a car that is parked, a car at rest, and immediately he, moved, he passed the car at rest, the car at rest took off and accelerated to 90 degree, 90 kilometers per hour. And so he continued and overtook the second car. For it overtake the met here. We want to know that in say at what what is the, the, the distance traveled by the second car, this one, by the time they met. So the, the distance traveled by the second car now is the is the area of this trapezium. Area of this trapezium. You see this this trapezium, that's the area. That will be the 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 distance traveled by the second car before they met. But before we can get the area, we have to get this X. This time here. To get this X here, the two, by the time the car, the time the car met the, the car, the parked car, by the time the first car met the past car, from the time it met the parked car to the time it was over, overtaking, the distance traveled by the first car and the second car were equal, equal distance. Two of them traveled equal distance. From that time when it overtook the parked car to the time the, the parked car overtook it, they traveled equal distance. So for me to get this X, what I will do, the, the total distance traveled by the first car is the area of this rectangle. Look at this rectangle. The area of this rectangle. So if I, if I calculate the area of this rectangle, which will involve this X, I cannot calculate the area of this one as well, involving the x. I weigh the two because they are equal. I get the value of x. If I get the value of x, I have gotten this. I cannot get the area traveled. The, the total area traveled by the second car. That's just the, the secret there. So if I get the, the area of, the area of the, the, this distance traveled by the first car is this. So 30 seconds, since I'm working in kilometers per hour, 30 seconds is 1 over 120 hours. This is 1 over 120 hours. The guy will change, I will change to hours. So, if I want, I want to get the, the, the area of the first, the distance traveled by the first car is 90 over, 90 over 2. That's the trapezium, this trapezium. 
x x this this plus x plus this that's x plus x plus 1 over 120 the area of a trapezium that's the area of this trapezium the area of this trapezium look at this trapezium the area of this trapezium which is the distance traveled by the first by the second car sorry distance traveled by the area which is this plus the whole of this the whole of this is x plus that that is or that is that 120 hours one over 120 hours times the height 90 over so this is also this is equal to the area of this rectangle because the two cars travel the same distance from when they met first before overtaking or called so that will be 65 area of a, a area of a rectangle times the width which is x plus 1 over 120 if i do this i will get the value of x if i solve that equation if i solve that equation i will get x to be 1 over 150 hours i got x to be equal to 1 over 150 hours if you solve this simple equation getting x because this is equal to this x is only unknown you get x if you get x it will give you 1 over 150 1 over 150 hours so if you have gotten x it's simple that means from here to here is from here to here is 1 over 150 so to get because the question said what is the distance traveled by the second car that's the area of this trapezium it's simple now it's simple because we have from here to here which is 1 over 150 the height is which is 90 over 2 bracket 1 over 150 plus the whole of this that is the whole of this that is 1 over 120 plus 1 over 150 1 over 150 plus 1 over 120 plus 1 over 150 that is 90 over 2 if we if we work this we get the, the, the total distance traveled by the second car. Total distance traveled by the second car. Which in this case, I got it to be 0 0.95, 0 0.975 kilometers. It was 0, 0 0.975 kilometers. Which is equal, which can be changed to 975 meters. 975 meters. So, as simple as that. The question says the quest, the question says that a car a car was moving at 65 kilometers per hour speed when he met a, 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 a car at rest a car that is parked he made it at rest and passed immediately passed that car took off followed it and accelerated to 90 kilometers per hour look at it displayed and continue on that speed of 90 kilometers per hour until it met this first car and overtake it the question now says, at what distance did the car travel at the point of overtaking? Simple. Okay, what, don't, what we don't know is, at this period when the, the car was had 90 kilometers per hour, what is the, dist the time from there to the time he, he overtook? For me to get that, I knew that the time two of them met when the, when the car was, the, other, the four, second car was parked, to the time he overtook, he overtook the second car. It was the same distance two of them traveled. So it was same. Distance. So and the the distance of the, the travel by the second car is given by this trapezium. The distance travel by the first car is given by this rectangle. If I equate the area of both of them, I will get x. That's the secret there. If I get x, then I've solved my problem. I can now calculate the area of this trapezium. And get the distance. Even if I want to get the distance traveled by this first car, I can also get that. Just the area of this triangle, uh, rectangle. I get that. So let me now say the question the way it is. The question says a car moving at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour, a car moving at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour passes another car that was at rest. The car that was at rest immediately kicks off. And as it rest to a speed of 90 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds and continue at this speed till it overtook the first car what is the distance traveled by the second car 
at the time of overtaking? That's the question. What is a car moving at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour passes another car that is at rest. The car that was at rest immediately to kick off and has reduced a speed of 90 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds and continue at this speed till it overtook the first car. What is the distance traveled by the second car at the time of overtaking? As simple as that. The distance, total distance traveled by each of the cars is shown here. The area, if you want the total distance traveled by the uh, first car, is the area of this rectangle. If you want the, the, the total distance traveled by the second car, is the area of this trapezium. The only difference that before you do that, you have to get the space, this time, x. Which we can get the x by equating the two areas. Look at it, we get x. Why we don't get x? Then we can calculate this and get the answer. And that answer has been gotten as shown on the board. Thank you very much.